Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nazia Nuha binti Muhammad Khatib and I will be presenting about my preliminary and interim design developments for the Marine Rehabilitation Center for Fishes The function of this building is mainly to rehabilitate marine fishes which are also known as saltwater fishes Marine fishes serve a viable importance to our ecosystem. It is known as one of the biggest food sources to which it can benefit the human economy as well. However, due to certain circumstances such as overconsumption, pollution, and global warming, these fishes are slowly becoming threatened. Therefore, rehabilitation methods should be done to restore the population and well-being of the marine fishes. Some examples of marine fishes are the one-spot snapper, the barramundi, and the red snapper, which are commercially popular. The following slide shows the contents of the preliminary design developments and the interim design developments. The site of the rehabilitation center is located in Chelo Palo, Kuantan. The specific site of this rehabilitation center, which is Site A, is situated on the northwest side of Innocent. The illustration shown shows the synthesis that were extracted from Site A. Site A is oriented towards the northeast where the sea is and is surrounded by trees on the vertical sides. Since most of the good view and wind comes from the northeast, it is recommended to place more windows and openings towards that direction. Since the site is near the sea, the humidity would also be high. Therefore, using weather and water resistant materials such as aluminium and timber are suitable. Furthermore, the road towards Innocent comes from the southwest, so the entrance towards the rehabilitation center should also be on the southwest. Next is the precedent study synthesis. The first precedent study is Crown Foundation. According to the floor plan of this building, the lab and the rehabilitation tanks are connected by a courtyard. However, the lab and the rehabilitation tanks can be nearer or adjacent to each other for easy access for the staff to check up on the critters. Secondly, Spaces with specific functions are separated far from each other which consumes more energy to access them. Therefore, it is suggested to combine these separated spaces with the different functions into one building for easy circulation and access. Next precedent study is the Blue Planet Aquarium. The sea is located on the northeast of the building, and the cafe and service rooms face the sea to get good view and easy seawater pumping respectively. Second, the spaces of the building are connected by a central gallery which acts as a centrifugal navigator that can ease the circulation within the building. For the case studies, the first study is about the grid shell structure for the roof, which is a lightweight double curvature structure that provides a range of aesthetical designs for the roof. The second study is about the geodesic dome, which is an ideal roof for a hatchery because it can provide optimal air circulation and temperature within the spaces underneath it. The third study is about raft foundation, which is a suitable foundation system for coastal soil. The next slide shows the application of the synthesis from the site, precedent studies, and case studies for the potential design of the rehabilitation center. The first image shows the space planning according to the previous studies, which are as followed. The next image shows the application of raft foundation. The third image shows the idea of form based on the previous study synthesis. The schedule of accommodation for this rehabilitation center consists of lobby, exhibition, cafe, seminar room, hatchery, office, research lab, staff lounge, reading area, changing rooms, restrooms, musola, and service area, where the total area of all of them accumulates to 550 square meters. Moving on, we have the space planning, which starts off with the site zoning. The zoning is determined by the neighboring context and just into the site's orientation and how often people come by. The public zone is determined by the road towards Innocent, where many people would pass by. 
The private zone is determined by the abundance of trees near the site, since it provides shade and privacy. Meanwhile, the semi-public or private zones is determined by the beach where there would occasionally be people passing by. Next to the site zoning shows the adjacency metrics which shows the spaces that are required to be adjacent which are mainly the lobby and exhibition for educational exposure, the laboratory and hatchery for easy research and treatment, and the restroom and changing room for the staff. Then we have the bubble diagram for the ground floor and first floor of the rehabilitation center. In the ground floor, the entrance leads to the lobby which then directly leads to the exhibition. The public zone slightly shifts upwards to connect to the semi-public zone which has the cafe. The cafe and the restrooms are nearby for easy water services. Since the organization is radial, the spaces revolve around the hatchery placed in the middle. Right to the hatchery is the seminar room and the laboratory. For the first floor, right after the stairs would be the staff lounge and the office is next to it so the workers can easily alternate their work and resting time. The first floor restrooms are directly proportionate with the ground floor bathrooms for easy water pumping, and the musola is next to the bathroom for the same reason. Next is a suggested concept which is fluidity. This idea represents the nature of water where fishes can swim freely and smoothly. These are some examples of things that applies fluidity. The first example is a fluidity painting which shows repetition of leaf-like strokes. The next example is the fluid movement of fishes in radial motion when they are schooling. The third example is one of Zaha Hadid's known sculptures that shows fluidity through radiating curvilinearity. Then we have the conceptual sketches and models to show the development of the design. First, the concept is derived from the zoning of the site. Then, the spaces are arranged according to its suitable zones. From the arrangement of these spaces, a spiral motion is achieved, and the center of the spiral becomes the focal point. From the radial shape, the form is refined to suit the function of the spaces inside. Then, additional forms are applied to separate the spaces in the building. Lastly, the form is refined to an organic shape to suit the concept of fluidity. The next slide shows the design idea of the site plan, the ground floor plan and the first floor plan from the previous concept. From the ground floor, we can see the exhibition is diverged towards the restroom and changing rooms, and towards the cafe and hatchery. The stairs towards the first floor is left to the cafe. Next to the stairs is a door leading to the outdoor area to access the service room. Upon ascending the stairs to the first floor, we'll be greeted by the staff lounge and the office. The next slide shows the elevations of the building and section. From the elevations, windows are mostly placed on the northeast and southeast elevation. The roof is curved to show the principle of movement and rhythm. There is also slight hierarchy of heights. Meanwhile, the section cut reveals the exhibition, hatchery, and lab on the ground floor level. The next slide mainly shows the construction details of the grid shell roof and how it connects to the column or wall. The grid shell structure comprises of four layers of laths, which can be either timber or steel, but in this design, timber is intended to be used. For the connection, the lattice shell are jointed to the column or wall by the help of bolts, edge boards, and steel brackets. Here we have the massing mock-up model and structural model of the design to show how it would appear like in form. The structural model showcases the grid shell for the roof. Last but not least, these are some of the sketch ideas for the design form. And that is all from me. Thank you for listening to this presentation.